Donald Trump became the first former president charged with a crime today. Security was tight across Manhattan as the court proceedings took place. Fox's Alexa McAdams has more. It was a historic moment in that Manhattan courtroom behind me as the former president, Donald Trump, pled not guilty in this criminal probe. On Tuesday, Donald Trump, now formally the first former president to ever be charged with a crime. In front of a New York City judge, he pled not guilty to more than 30 counts of business fraud related charges. They stem from an investigation by District Attorney Alvin Bragg into alleged hush money payments made ahead of the 2016 election. Under New York State law, it is a felony to falsify business records with intent to defraud and an intent to conceal another crime. That is exactly what this case is about. 34 false statements made to cover up other crimes. The Secret Service joined the former president as he made his way from Trump Tower to that Manhattan criminal courthouse. Trump was processed and fingerprinted before he was escorted to that courtroom, where he learned of the charges against him. Outside, police, media, and demonstrators gathered near that building. Trump supporters labeling the case a witch hunt. An indictment on a former president and a presidential, you know, candidate is just a sad day in our country. If convicted, Trump could still run for president in 2024, though some say prosecutors face an uphill legal battle. He's trying to dress it up into a felony by invoking federal law that he doesn't have any jurisdiction to prosecute. And that's how we land in court. Now, former President Donald Trump heads back to Mar-a-Lago, where he's expected to address this indictment. Reporting in New York City, I'm Alexis McAdams, Fox News.